In this video we're going to complete example one and for this example we're going to look at the Konigsberg bridge problem and we're going to see if we can create Eulerian trails and circuits by simply demolishing bridges. And when we're talking about Eulerian trails and circuits we mean passing every bridge only once. So question A says which bridge can we demolish in order to make an Eulerian trail? So to solve this we need to follow what Leonhard Euler did when he made every landmass a vertex. After doing that, he connected them with edges, and each edge basically represented a bridge, like so. Now, after I've drawn this, I'm going to redraw this below in black and just neaten it up a little bit. All right, so I've redrawn it below, and I've basically kind of pulled the edges apart a little bit so it's a bit clearer and we're going to look at this and find the degree of each vertex so this vertex has a degree of 5, 3, 3 and 3 and if we want to make an Eulerian trail essentially what we need to do is make it so that only two of the vertices have an odd degree. Now to demolish a bridge is the same as demolishing an edge on our network diagram here. So let's just try demolishing any edge. Let's demolish this one. This edge would represent bridge 2. And when you do that, you will notice that the degree of two of the vertices will change. This one will now change to 4, and this one will change to 2, which is perfect. Now we only have two vertices with an odd degree. Let's try a different bridge. Let's try demolishing bridge 3, that would be this one here. You now have two vertices with a degree of 2. Once again, we now have an Eulerian trail. In fact, you will find that you can demolish any one of those bridges and you will have an Eulerian trail. So for our response to A, we're going to say any of the seven bridges. You can demolish any single one of them. Okay, let's now move on to question B. This time we're going to demolish two of the bridges in order to make an Eulerian circuit. An Eulerian circuit has every vertex with an even degree. I reckon we could do this by taking out bridges 3 as well as bridge 5. So what happens when we do that? Well, our degree is going to become 2, 2, 2 and 4. Every vertex is now even, which means we have an Eulerian circuit. Let's try another two bridges. Let's try bridges 1 and 7. What happens when we do that? Well, we're going to get 4, 2, 2 and 2. Excellent. We've made another Eulerian circuit by demolishing two of our bridges. I would like you to have a little explore and figure out what two bridges you can demolish to make Eulerian circuits. I'm, I'm going to write the results down below now. I found four pairs of bridges that I could demolish in order to create an Eulerian circuit. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.